Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. You could argue that this, the fourth episode of Telltale Games' incredible take on The Walking Dead, is probably the least of the five. Least chilling, least gripping. That's not to say it's not those things. In fact, it's probably for the best that Telltale gave us room for a breather during the early moments of Around Every Corner. Because by the end, you will have needed it. Kitty! A little too close, don't you think? Oh, I'm a pretty emotional guy by nature, so it could just be me, but I don't think it is. This game's had me enthralled since the first episode. It's remarkable how attached you become to its characters, but one of the defining traits of episode four is that those people are dead, at least for the most part. You might think that would weaken its emotional weight, but when it hits you, it hits harder than any episode prior. But if you're new to the game, The Walking Dead is a five-part episodic adventure game, uh, obviously based on The Walking Dead. An unexplained zombie outbreak has suddenly and seemingly turned the entire world into a post-apocalyptic nightmare. It's about surviving the undead, of course, but that title, The Walking Dead, is actually a description of the survivors as much as the zombies. And four episodes in, that's as clear as ever. What the? Now, in terms of its gameplay, The Walking Dead is a standard point-and-click adventure game. You explore, and you solve puzzles, and you talk. Emphasis on talk, because what makes this game so great aren't necessarily the game elements. It's not like an adventure game where you click on things as some revolutionary idea. But what this game does, perhaps better than any I've ever played, is connect you to its world. And as a result, you genuinely care. Every decision you encounter sets a million different things running through your head. You're conflicted. You're never certain about anything. And since your responses are on a time limit, you really feel the pressure to make a decision and make it fast, even if it's not a comfortable decision. And hardly any of them are anymore. Now, it's true that it does start at least comparatively slow, but there are moments in this episode that literally had me choked up. And I never thought a video game could tell a story that impactful. It's just stunning. You know, if this industry wants to pride itself on storytelling, it should really look to The Walking Dead for guidance. When I started to figure out Molly's past, my heart bled for her. And just feeling that inside me was, was an upsetting experience. If only games of this caliber really were around every corner. You okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that 